they're hiring. It's a joke. And the people are just turning to federal dollars. I've had I've had some youth build contractors fired from HUD when Alfonso Jackson was there because they couldn't produce the results of their graduates from two or three years ago. And Alfonso Johnson just cut them. It's it's congressional, your congressional leaders, it's like pork. Okay. You know, you gotta go through your congressman, your congressman goes downtown and makes it happen. Hi, Kimberly Marcus with Reverend Jesse Jackson's office. Um to, to her question, so what do you think is happening with the apprentice programs that Urban League and other organizations are doing? So they have the students in there for four years, and what do you think happens? Do you think the programs aren't good in preparing the students? You, you may quote me and I say this in front of the press, they're worthless. Okay. It's a mean the trick. Actual programs. The actual programs are mean tricks to the students who go through those thinking they're going to work. And they don't work. They don't get employed. They don't get placed. So if I had a contract like that, I would have, if I was doing a, a construction, what, what we did in New Orleans in the Gulf, we put 16,000 people to work in the Gulf. 75% of them black. You don't hear anything about it. But it's through Bechtel through Fleur, through Shaw. When those guys went through this training program, Bechtel, Fleur, and Shaw hired them. And they're working today. Good wages, 16,000. Try to get the Urban League and NAACP to join us in this effort. They never did. But we took a lot of their people and got them to work. And it's going national through, the Business Roundtable did the one for the Gulf, but it's getting ready to go national. And, and uh, we'll publicize that. But if you go to imgreat.org, I am great, altogether.org, that's the website for that program. That's a success story. Yes, sir. Peter Green, Fishbowl in the Black Chamber of Commerce. Uh, getting back to uh, PLAs and, 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 and agreements that favor uh, unions, in Prince George's County, we have a uh, heavy black population. As a result, we have a heavy elected black population as well. Mm -hmm. They tend to believe that they are helping black people when they put these agreements and pass these bills that allow are these agreements to, to play in our county. Mm -hmm. what, the, what the Black Chamber has done in Prince George's County, we've taken upon ourselves to individually go and educate each political figure uh, about why they should not be supportive of union activity or activity that's based on union rules. And, 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 and we had success um, with, our, with our council two years ago, but the new council kind of defeated us on the living wage bill. But we've since talked to all nine of them, and we continue to talk to them, and now we're getting, well, if it comes back, for sure we will not raise it, because the day that the bill was passed, the union board said, we'll be back this time next year to raise it to $12.50 an hour, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I think it's education of, the, uh, of our elected officials. If you have access to them, and I know everybody don't, do not have uh, uh, as much privilege and rights as we, uh, privileges as we do. To let, let me tell you what's happening in Prince George's County. Day. Many of you, you know Compton, you know Inglewood, you know Detroit. Those three were once Prince George's County. Nice, ritzy, single family homes, everybody making money. They went downhill because of policy. And Prince George's County and others need to watch the policy. Or they're gonna go the way of Compton and Inglewood. My aunt was the first black to integrate Inglewood. Now it's the ghetto. It's policy, isn't it, Norris? So that's, that is our charge, people. Uh, we owe you a breakdown of the stimulus. Uh, we need to put together a kit on how to analyze the local unions in your neighborhood and see who's doing well and who's not doing well. There are actually segregated unions today. Indianapolis has a black cement workers union and a white cement workers union. Hammond, Indiana has a black carpenters union and a white carpenters union. Today, right now. I wonder why I'm mad. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Appreciate it.